This is the last Sephora haul, I promise. I went a little crazy for some reason for this Sephora sale. There was just so much launching and so much that I wanted to try. I have been testing so much makeup these last couple of weeks. It has been so fun. So this is the final set of orders that I made. It's a collection of a few orders. Some of the stuff you guys might have seen. I reviewed some of it. I used some of it. But yeah, this is the last of the stuff that I haven't put into my other hauls. So let's get started. So the first thing that I have to talk about is the Smashbox Photo Finish Revitalize 8-in-1 Primer Essence. I don't know what overcame me to order this. It wasn't anything I had my eye on that I'd never heard of before but I was like I like Smashbox I like Smashbox primer they had this already in the travel size so it was a little bit more affordable I was like let's try this I haven't heard of it before yeah no I don't recommend this so I don't even know honestly what it's supposed to do it primes and preps for makeup plumps skin with hydration nourishes with vitamins balances skin creates a lightweight breathable barrier rejuvenates and sets makeup I don't think it does like any of that. Honestly, it's just a spray. It kind of smells bad. It's not a good smell at all. I don't think anybody would like the smell of it. It almost smells a little rotten. I don't know. I just don't like it. It smells gross. <laughs> so yeah, I don't like this. Don't recommend it. Can't get over the smell. I don't even think it really does anything. I ordered a couple of items from one size. Their new launches have been catching my eye. I'm excited to see the stuff that the brand comes out with. So the first thing that I picked up was the Made for Shade Bronze and Sculpt Trio. I was unsure of what trio to get. The models on the Sephora website made it look like these ran quite dark. And I, I do recommend going by the models because this does run quite dark. But it actually looks really light in the pan so I did pick up the shade light and yeah this is actually quite dark on me <laughs> so they do run dark they pull a lot darker on this skin these blend out buttery smooth great application but they do have a lot of pigment so you need to use a light hand different shades here one is like a little bit more yellow one is going to be a little bit more neutral and this one is like a little bit more deep and bronzy I don't think that these look too different on the skin from one another they all just carry so much pigment and I don't notice too much of the undertone changes from powder to powder, but the consistency of the powder is really, really nice. I'm going to continue using this. I've only used it a couple of times now. I don't love it. It's a bit too pigmented for me, but I do love how buttery smooth it is. The other item that they launched that I picked up is the Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio. It comes in the classic one size packaging and I love this. There's a cream blush in here and it has a cover so that the powder doesn't get into the cream. And then we also have a powder blush and then another powder blush, but this one is shimmery. So it's not like a highlight or anything, but it does add a glow to the cheek. I really, really like this. I think it's really pretty on the cheek. The shimmer shade is not too shimmery to a point where it's going to emphasize texture or anything but it does add a lot of color to the cheek so you can definitely wear it alone you don't have to layer up or you could layer up with the cream blush powder blush powder shimmer blush I like this a lot I think it's really pretty I picked up the shade very that which is a little bit more peachy really beautiful I think that this is a good pickup if you're into cheek stuff. There's a lot of cheek stuff to go through in this haul. The next item that I picked up, it looked very intriguing on the website, not something that you really would expect me to pick up, but it caught my eye. So this is the Ilia Multi Stick Face Palette, and I'm disappointed that I picked this up because I do like Ilia and I thought the palette looked so beautiful online. You can see why this caught my eye. You know, cream products are really, really trendy. I've been loving cream blushes. And then when I got it, I looked closer into the palette and I, you know, learned a little bit more and I realized it's a multi-stick face palette and I do not like the formula that Ilia has of the multi-sticks. I believe, at least tenderly, and I could be wrong, but I think these are shades that already exist. So anyways, I haven't used this yet, but I've swatched it and they seem to be the same formula as the multi-sticks which I don't think give off enough color for me. There's a couple of shades in here that do have more pigment to them, but it's not as creamy as I would like it to be. So I will have to keep you guys updated because I haven't tried it yet, but my expectations are low. I may, I think I made a mistake in buying this. And that's because I didn't do my due diligence before I added it to cart because I was so excited because I thought it looked 
so pretty. The next item that I have is from Tom Ford. I wasn't expecting to pick this up, but I saw it. It's a new launch, and I picked up the Sheer Cheek Duo from the Soleil collection in the shade Eclat New. So this is a new shade, and I do love this formula from Tom Ford. Do I think I need it in every color that he comes out with? No, but this is such a beautiful glowy blush duo. At the end of the day, is this worth the money? Probably not. I definitely would not have paid full price for this. I just picked it up because I could get the 20% discount on it and it really is so beautiful. I have this more neutral shade on top of my cream blush. So pretty and glowy. Again, this is like a little extra. If you have a disposable income, it's fun. It's luxurious. It comes with the sleeve here. But yeah, not necessary, but I'm so happy about it. I think it's really pretty. And it added like a little bit of peachiness to it. The color didn't quite look like that in the pan, but I think it's pretty. I need to play with the other shade. If you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I did already post swatching these, a short form video. But yeah, Sephora restocked all of the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wands. Now these are not as hard to get a hold of as the contour wands, but still a bunch came back into stock and I was looking through my collection. I only have Pink Gasm. Like that's it. I don't have any other Beauty Light Wands. So I wanted to get these and all of the shades that I didn't have. So the first shade that I picked up was Spotlight. This is just a classic highlight. My mom has this. So I've used this before, but it doesn't belong to me so I picked this up just to keep for myself and I'm very happy that I did and then I picked up peach gasm since I do have pink gasm I love pink gasm so I definitely wanted to get the sister here this is so pretty as blush I did use it today all over my cheeks for a blush and it's my cheek is super duper glowy and then I use that Tom Ford blush right on top so I'm excited about this this is gorgeous and then I picked up the pillow talk beauty light one this one is more high highlighty on me. I did use it as my highlight today. It's like a pinky champagne type of highlight. Really beautiful. It doesn't interrupt the foundation underneath or anything. So I really like this. In my TikTok, I said this was new. It's not new. It's been around. It's just re-promoted in the new collection. And then I picked up the Pillow Talk Medium. So this one is interesting because I feel like it's more copper as opposed to pinky like Pillow Talk is. I haven't tried this yet on my face. I think it's going to be a very beautiful blush just like peach gasm but I'm not used to using something so copper on the cheek so we will see I will keep you updated on that but these are a beautiful liquid blush and highlight formula and I'm not even into liquid highlights so the fact that I like these should say a lot so I'm excited that I got to kind of replenish my collection as well as just get the rest that I didn't have. Okay, finally, let's move on to eyes. I'll start off with the product that I didn't talk about picking up, but uh, Gucci always gets me, man. So I picked up the Gucci Felt Tip Eyeliner. I might as well just do a full face of Gucci one day. This is a very, very nice eyeliner. Felt Tip is nice and long. The only thing is I wish that this part was a little bit slimmer or something because it disrupts my eyeliner flow. But I really do like the tip on this. It allowed me to get the absolute thinnest eyeliner today and it's quite, quite black. I haven't noticed any smudging or anything with it. I've only used it a couple of times. Today I did a really thin line. I've done thicker, more bold eyeliner with it as well. It doesn't seem to budge. So I think I really, really do like this eyeliner. And I was just excited because it's Gucci and I love Gucci's aesthetic. Okay, the final three products are the eyeshadow palettes that I've picked up. I have done individual reviews on all of these. So these aren't anything new, but in case you missed it, I will give you a quick rundown of everything. So we will start off with the palette that I'm currently wearing, the Artist Couture Supreme Mobs Collection. And by the way, how cool is it that these eyeshadows literally launch during the sale. Brands used to not do that, but I'm excited that I got to pick these up at a discount. So this one right here is much more beautiful in person. When I saw it online, I wasn't that into it, but this row right here is so purpley and poppy. I love it. Now, quality-wise, this isn't my favorite. I just think that the shimmers are kind of on the dry side and they're really, really messy. So today, I wanted to strip down to be the star of the show because in my initial review, I didn't really get to give this one a chance. It is what I'm wearing today. I think it's really beautiful, but I stand by. The shimmers are just a little dry, and I just think that this palette is a bit pricey for me to be unhappy with the shimmers. In his other palettes, 
I prefer the formulation a little more. The mattes are great. It's just the shimmers that I'm like, eh, about. So while I do love, love, love the color story, I don't like choice in shimmers here. The formulation's just messy. Doesn't give me the exact pigment I want, or at least with as much ease as I would like. So keep that in mind. I would say, you know, a lot of rosy Amavi palettes have come out recently, and if Supreme Mauves had launched on its own. I would recommend the palette if you'd been wanting it, but much more rosy and mauvey palettes have come out that I prefer better. So I don't think that one is a must have of the new launches. Next up, this one's probably the most popular, the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 palette. I would suggest not to order this online. I've heard many horror stories of your guys' palettes coming broken. Mine did as well. It was just one shade luckily and I was able to press it back in but it's still kind of making a mess. I decided I'm just not gonna return it. I think it's fine, whatever. <laughs> I can deal with this. So make sure you pick this up in store so yours doesn't come shattered and check it before you actually purchase it. Open it up, make sure everything is intact. But other than that, this palette is really gorgeous. I loved it. It's probably my favorite of all the mauvey, rosy, purpley, pinky palettes that have come out recently. I mean, these shimmers, so dimensional. You, they just can't be beat. The mattes blend out really beautifully. I mean, it's not a unique color story, but quality-wise, I think this is phenomenal. I like it even better than the first Major Dimension palette that came out. It's a little bit more up my alley color story-wise. And the final palette that came out was the Melt Cosmetics Gemini 2 palette. So they created a sister to the ever so popular Gemini 1 palette, which did restock. And here is the palette. I was quite excited about this, but honestly, the color story here ended up disappointing me a bit. Now quality wise, if you do enjoy this color story, quality is great. It's not disappointing like some other palettes that I've tried in the past for Melt. But it's a lot darker and grungier than I was expecting, which again is not a bad thing, but it just wasn't within my preferences. And I don't like that there's only two shimmers here, and both of the shimmers are really, really dark. For me and for the looks that I create, I definitely want some more brightness and differences in depth, particularly with the shimmers. I think it's okay to have like one or two dark shimmers just like they have, but I need some lighter shimmers to balance it out. So for the most part, I've created a couple other looks with this palette and again the quality is really great but I haven't even been wanting to dig into these shimmers because they're so dark it's just like you can only use them for smoky eyes so this palette isn't for me but if you like those really dark grungy smoky eyes then I think you will really enjoy that one those were the final orders that I made during the Sephora sale we'll see if any more new launches come out but I am happy that all of these did launch during the sale so that I could get a discount on them at the very least and I've been quite happy with all of my purchases give me another week or two and I'm gonna come out with like an ultimate updates video of everything that I've picked up during the sale because I did pick up a lot. I've been testing the items that I bought a lot. I have almost full face of all the new items I've bought from the sale that I'm still testing. And I don't know, it's just really great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and being subscribed to my channel. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.